Hey everybody, this is Alan Belniak on the exhibit hall floor of PTC User 2010 in Orlando, Florida. And I'm sitting with Paul Hamilton at the Co-Create Explicit Modeling booth. And Paul's going to take a few minutes, a few seconds rather, and show us uh, some of the items that Brian Shepard touched upon in the keynote uh, presentation on Sunday. And we're going to look at how the explicit modeling uh, either is similar to or differs from uh, some of the parametric history-based modeling of ProEngineer. So Paul, why don't you show us what you have? That's, that's one of the aspects. Um, you know, if we wanted to create some new geometry, brand new parts from scratch, we just start with a, a sketch plane on the screen. We uh, create a part. Um, oops. And then we can just start sketching geometry. And here you can see I just created a rectangle. You pull it, pull it up. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to create a, uh, some some pockets or something. This is very basic, simple geometry, but um, create some circles, things like that. It's just tug and pull on geometry. You can uh, you pull it, wow. remove it, pull it, things like that. Um, this geometry is all modifiable. Well, I never go back to the sketch, mm -hmm. right? Um, if you want to move it, you can move it. Um, add a pocket. Just create a rectangle and then you drag it. Pull it up, push it down, anything like that. All of this stuff can be dimension driven as well. If we add dimensions on here, mm -hmm. you'll see the dimensions being attached to this model. And they're not constraints, they're just tools to help you get your job done. Right. As a matter of fact, I could actually add a dimension here, which would be an over constraint if it was. And now these dimensions can be used to change the model, to drive changes. Notice the other dimensions are being driven. Can you also click on that dimension and, and manually type in a value? Yep, you sure can. So I can just say I want that to be 100 Oops. and change that. Notice that where I click on the dimension defines what's going to change on the uh, on the part. Here I click on the left side of the dimension and the left side of the part changes. So okay. there's no dependency on how the model was created. Okay. Um, so we're interacting directly with geometry. Um, and so that means I could do these same edits with any geometry, a step file, an IGES file, a PRT file. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter where the geometry comes from, okay. we can do these types of edits. That's great. And, um, you know, so there's a lot of intelligence that you have here. If we want to move this face, we can move it. If we want to lock the face with the boss, it's just that simple. And now when I change this dimension, the boss changes with Okay, so this, so this is where you get a little bit of association going on. Yeah, yeah you, can start, uh, you can start building relationships, start building some design intended to part as you go if, if you need it. Mm -hmm. A lot of our customers don't need to do that. They don't, they don't spend the time mm -hmm. to do it, but many of them will do that. But it's there if you want. Yeah, That's yeah it's there if you want it. Great. And so just that simple. <laughs> Well, I, I really appreciate that quick demo, and, uh, and if uh, any more questions, keep them go to ppc.com slash products slash co-create. Co-create. Co Fantastic. Exactly. Thanks yep. very much. All right. Thanks, Alan.